Hi everyone. Well, uh, that just happened. I've been creating away quite happily, showing you um, making tags and everything for this this thing that's um, become a life form of its own. Um, it's just got so big. <laughs> and I realised that I'm not even filming. So we have gone straight from me going to show you how I create some of the bits and pieces I put in here to a flip through of this um, loaded paper bag thingy. I don't even know what to call it. So I just thought I would come on and just show you the finished um, item. So this is, this is it. Um, I've had so much fun putting this together. So I hope um, my friend really likes it. Um, so this, I'm, I'm, making this as the front uh, because just because I like this feature frame that I've put on here um, and I've added a little bit of gold leaf and, and everything so if you hear a, a lot of noise I'm sorry um, everyone's upstairs they're cooking dinner and chatting so I've just finished work and I just wanted to get this filmed so that I could send this off so this is what I've done I've just put this beautiful lace um, to try and hold it closed but it's um as you can see it's busting at the seams <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to quickly show you through it. So this just comes off. This comes off. So what I've done is I've um, put this uh, rose sticker. So we've got yellow um, flowers featuring through on this paper. And I had this frame and I just put that on top and I've just added a little bit of gold leaf randomly. Um, so this is the front pocket here that I had just put some little bits and pieces in. Um, I'll just sort of show you. I've just done lots of handmade bits and pieces. Everything's coffee dyed and sewn. A lot of it is um, distressed. Um, so I'm going to leave the back part of the pockets because I'm going to flip it over and come back the other way. Um, so I've just got... Um, I, I'm honestly not sure where all these have come from because I've had them cut out, these printables, and in my stash. I think these could be um, the graphics fairy. So I'm sorry if that's incorrect. Okay, so that's the front of that one. And that's that one. And then inside here, so the front of this pocket... I have got this little journaling card that I used, um, the scraps of the botanical script paper. And this is another scrap and I've just made a little tag and then just done a double lay um, label there. And so that's just a nice little journaling card. So um, James, my husband said to me, so what's she going to do with it? And I said, well, she can do, she can sit there and flip through it and have a look through it if she wants to, when she wants to, she can use all the bits and pieces out of it in her own journals, totally up to her. It's a gift to her. So whatever she decides to do with it, that's what happens. Okay. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful paper. I've done nothing on here. I've just done this, put a tiny um, clip, Tim Holtz clip and this, die cut um, envelope so that's a uniquely creative creative envelope I actually have that in my shop so you'll be able to see my um, the details for my website in the description box as well so if you're interested you can go and have a look for that and I've just clipped that and these are so tiny just clipped that on there Actually, oh, I've lost that in there now. I'll have to fix that up later. I'm hoping that she can clip them back on. She may not clip them back on because I know that she does have arthritis. So I'm sorry about that. So this is the front part of this pocket. So just again, some printables, all with coffee dyed paper, some tags, journaling cards another one so it's very postcard and rose themed and butterfly themed so this is a postcard that I actually did on one of our um, Friday night live streams so I just figured that that went really well so I've popped that in there so I'll just pop these back in place you might see if I can see that little clip down in there so there is um, two videos prior to this one and I will list them below as well if you if you've happened upon this one first and I'll just and that just shows the construction basically. Um, 
and a little bit of decorating. So I'm just going to pop all these back in. And I might try and click this back on again. Let's see if I drop it in there, it stays off. And I can't even see, I haven't got my glasses on. Okay. And we've got this one here, just a, a side pocket and same thing. I've just got some, I've got a tag that I've coffee dyed and I've backed it with coffee dyed paper again. Just a, this is a graphics fairy tag. And I've just got um, natural coloured uh, sari silk in there. And in this pocket, in the front part of this pocket, I've just made a, this is, um, I'm sure this is Tsunami Rose. So I've just made a, an extra large journaling card there. Just a little bit of uh, French ephemera, I think it is. No, it's just American ephemera. And then just another, um, this is Tsunami Rose as well, postcard. So I had to keep, um, I had to stop making things because I just wanted to keep adding to it and it's just grown so big. Um, I've just, so this is a double pocket here I've made with um, two different labels and these are from that Keyblatt um, Creations. I will endeavour to put um, their details in the description box as well. It's a beautiful page. So I've just done a double pocket here with these tags and just included a few of those labels in there. And then in the back of the pocket, once again, I've got roses and another coffee dyed tag. Probably should make sure I'm in the screen. Yep, okay. So in the front of this pocket, I have uh, just an envelope I've made out of coffee dyed paper. And I've cut that out using another die that I have in my shop. And that was just out of a scrap of the paper that I've used throughout this. Um, just put that on there. I've just done, um, embossed some, that's the back of a coffee packet and put a sari silk ruffle. And then I've just sewn around some scraps of coffee dyed paper that she can add to journaling cards or on pages, just popped that in there. Um, so this is, um, a, um, uh, what do you call it? A tag that I've made. So I've done this, all the inking and stamping on watercolor paper and I've backed it with craft cardstock. And this one as well. And as I said, you would have seen, I do have a, um, a video on these, but you would have seen me creating all of this if I had been recording. <laughs> But I wasn't, so. Okay, this is just another side pocket with a coffee dye tag and a little postcard. And I've just distressed it all. Everything's distressed and sewn. Well, most things are distressed and sewn. Okay, and in this pocket, the front of this pocket here, this is another one of the postcards that I did in the uh, Friday night live stream. This is a Tsunami Rose printable. And I've just put some tissue paper on the back of that. And this is a Tsunami Rose um, big file folder. And I've just printed some paper on the back, coffee dyed distress paper. And I've just put this wooden element. I'm trying to find, which I might try and do before I send this off. Um, I've got some words, some really nice words, and I'd like to put friends on there, and it's got like a pink tinge in it. I just have to find it, and I'd like to put that there. So that just goes in that pocket there. And then this is the back here. So we've got just a little pocket here, as you can see, and I've just got a couple of bit of sorry silk there a couple of tags um, 
I'm not sure. Chapter one papers, possibly. I'll try and find out who they are. As I said, I can't remember exactly who they were. This one, I just didn't put any sari silk in because I thought she might want to use it in something else and put something different in there. And this is just a little ticket book that I've made. And it's got... Um, different coffee dye papers in there that can be they're all perforated so they can be torn out if she wants to use use those uh, and in the front of this pocket just another tag and a little just a little notes divider that I've made there and we have um, this little bag and I've just done a little butterfly I think I've showed that in a, one of the previous videos before and then in the front of that pocket is just another postcard and another tag let's pop them in there so as you can see it's really really stuffed full I'm hoping that it shows up all right so now I'm tipping it around to the back side so coming from the back side um, we have this little bag here and um, on the front of that I've just put a little tuck there um, cute little tiny tag little vintage rose image and another little tag left out of the scraps of the paper range that I used and just another beautiful rose card in the front of that okay so this is the front of that pocket so i've just put a b label there with a bit of uh, cheesecloth and in the front of this pocket i've put um that beautiful card there and i think i showed this in um the previous video as well so this is just a, a fold out with extra so you can have some hidden journaling so it looks a little bit like a, an envelope and I've just got that popped in there as well. So this is uh, her initial so I've just popped that in uh, charm on that sari silk there and this is just a, a pocket long pocket with a scrap that I had and I've just done a tiny little journaling card postcard journaling card to go in there so in the front of this pocket here make sure I get so I've got this and I've got something clipped here what have I got clipped here oh, it's just a little another little envelope die that I have in my shop and I've just used a, a scrap of the same paper I've put a label on the front and I've done a, another little label here as the closure. I don't think I've got anything in here, no. I've got nothing in here. And that just makes that close there. So I just have that pinned in there, or clipped in there with this tiny Tim Holtz clip. Um, just some paper, writing paper. Um, this is from Nectar's Creations. A couple more uh, little journaling cards. And another one there. And just one of my coffee dyed tags there as well. Okay, this is next one this is lovely I just uh, I found the um, I was looking for that in the last video and I couldn't find it the ball chain so I've just put that um, Tim Holtz heart there um, the fact that it's you know there's three different color of metals there that doesn't worry me at all I mean with jewelry and everything it's all mixed together these days and and this is basically like a, a loaded junk journal pocket I guess so that doesn't concern me that's just a scrap once again and then just a couple of lovely tags there as well put them in there 
So in the front of this bag, we have I've got another piece clipped on here. Let me see. Just to make, make sure that I don't grab the same ones that I've shown you already. So we just have an old receipt, pharmacy receipt. This is another postcard and I've just folded a label over there as a tab and it's backed with coffee dye paper. Yeah, dinner sizzling up there. Um, another sari silk uh, ruffle there. Just a journaling card and then another tsunami rose uh, postcard. And I've just backed that with some tissue, script tissue paper. And in this pocket, I have another beautiful journaling card. And this was another scrap. So I've just done a double label again and I've put some um, Plea Black Creations labels in there. And some just some little bits and pieces that I cut out of scraps of this paper on my Sizzix machine. Just popped them in there. So this page here, I, all I did, I wasn't going to do anything at all, but I found this um, Nectar's Creations Rose, which I absolutely love. So I've just cut that out, fussy cut that out and stuck that there. And then in here, something else clipped. Um, I've just got decorated an envelope, coffee dyed envelope. And then I've just put a... Um, another postcard in there. Oops. No, I'm in the wrong pocket, I think. Yeah, in the wrong pocket. I don't know, I'm confused now. Oh, well, we'll go into this pocket here. And just another journaling card and just a big stenciled tag with a mini tag hanging from it. Let's get that thread off. We're back to um, the back here. So I've just filled this with um, another one of those tiny tags. I've just put um, labels there as the tab. This is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. Another little vintage rose journaling card. And another scrap and I've just added a label and a, and a flower there. And that's got to go that way to fit. And this side of this pocket is just a postcard. And then we're on to the back piece here. Another one of those Nectar Creations flowers that I've just fussy cut. And I think you've seen all of those in that front there. No, you haven't, because I didn't take them out. So they're just a couple of tags, or oh, one tag and a, um, a journaling card. And then this is just an envelope I made out of a printable. And then I've just filled it with all those extra little bits and pieces that I cut out of the scrap. So a heap of different um, tags and, and labels there that she can utilize in her journals. So that all just goes in there and then that just closes in that label there. And that is it guys so you can see what I mean it's um, got a postcode of its own it sort of it grew and grew and I just wanted to keep going with it I had so much fun doing it um, so I just wanted to show you that before I send it off so I hope she likes it and she can utilize the bits and pieces that are in it 
um, I will tie back this back up again um, later so I just wanted to show you the finished um, project it would have been nice if I could have um, made some of the bits and pieces that went in it um, if only I had a press play but anyway that's okay you get to see the finished result <laughs> so I hope you're all doing really well um, and I had yeah I had so much fun so you should give this a try it's um I'll be making another one most definitely all right well, I'm going to leave it with you there and um I hope you followed along with the previous two videos as well and and can make one yourself um maybe you won't stuff yours quite as full as mine but it's just that thing of knowing when to stop isn't it so all right Everybody, hope you take care and um, until next time, I hope you get a little bit of crafting time in. See you soon.